A very warm welcome to Tech Mining. In the previous video, we learned how to access and view data from a remote server using REST data sources. A link for that video is provided in the info card above. In this video, we will learn how to manipulate remote data using the same REST data sources. For this, we will connect to the department table on the remote server to perform insert, update, and delete DML operations. And we'll also view the reflection of DML operations side by side on the local Apex instance in Object Browser. In this tutorial, we will be using two different Oracle Apex instances on different servers. Let's get started. This first instance also known as local instance, which is running on Oracle Apex server and this will be the source in this tutorial, that will host the department table. This is the second instance also called remote instance, running on the Max Apex server. We will create a form with an interactive report to view, insert, update, and delete data in the department's table using this instance. Let's start the proceedings. In the local instance, access RESTful Services page from SQL Workshop menu. Click the Register Schema with ORDS button. This is my schema alias. Click the Save Schema Attributes button. A message schema enabled for use with ORDS RESTful services appeared indicating that now I can share my schema objects remotely. Click Configure button, to check schema alias, which must be same. Now create auto rest object. Select table for object type. And select department table for object. Connect to the remote instance. Go to Shared Components. Create a new REST data source from scratch. On the general screen, set the following values. Put this endpoint URL provided in video description by replacing this schema alias with your own. The remote server screen comes up, in which the first part is the base URL of the chosen remote server object. The HTTP endpoint URL of this REST data source module is made up from the base URL. The second part is the service specific URL path for this REST data source module. The HTTP endpoint URL is built by appending this to the base URL specified in the remote server object. Accepting the values on this wizard screen, click Next. We do not want to implement authentication for this new REST data source module, so turn off the authentication and click the Discover button to see the remote data. Click the Create REST data source button to complete the process. In the same remote instance, create an interactive report page. Set suitable page number and name. Also include form page. On the data source screen, select REST data source option and select the REST data source module you just created from the respective list. For primary key column, select department number column. After creating both report and form pages, run the report page. This is the data of departments table. Click the create button to create a new department record. 
On the form page, set the following values. One error has occurred. Value too large for department name column. Our new department record is added to the list. Connect to your local instance. Go to Object Browser, select Departments table, you will see the new department record added. Edit new department record. And change the location of this department. You will see an immediate change in the field. Refresh your local instance screen. Change will also be reflected in the local instance. Finally, let's delete this new department. Our new department is vanished. Let's check this in the local instance. All the DML operations are performed successfully. That's it for now. Thank you for watching.